Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars. We're starting to wind down on this whole burst series. A couple of them have left the building, which is awesome to see. And uh, we got a couple really killer ones still here. There's no rhyme or reason. People want clean ones. People want ones with some vibe and they're all different. So we have some really cool ones here. I'm gonna re-represent this 1960 that I got with all 59 specs because we wanna hand these guitars to a couple different players just so you can hear how they respond to different musicians. And it just seemed like a cool thing. Everybody plays different, everyone's got a different style and touch. So we've had some of our really good buddies come through and do the demo. We have Skylar Mihal who's gonna be doing the demo today. He's awesome local boy who's doing lessons down here now. So if you're in Seattle area and you wanna come down to the shop, hit us up, we'll get you hooked up with Skylar. He's awesome, he'll do him right down here. Again, I'm just gonna kind of give you the quick breakdown. One of the coolest bursts I've ever seen in my life. It's got lots of flame, double whites. It's all 59 specs, so super early 60. So, you, you know, no reflector knobs. It's got the cool 59, the big fat neck, which is awesome to see on a 60. It's got a couple zeros in the serial number, which guys also like to see. So a bunch of really appealing things about this guitar. And besides all that, just ridiculous PAFs. One thing you're gonna note here, if you're aware of the whole burst phenomenon or the PAFs, the double whites, the, it's, that's a thing. People love to see that. There's a zebra, the black, the whites. We're talking about the color of bobbins here. I think they all sound good and different, so it's really hard to compare you know, in different guitars, but it's really cool to see the 60 with the double white. So that's awesome, and it comes with the covers. Check out the previous video we did because there's like, these are repro tuners right here and uh, the jack plate is non-original, but it's all there in every way you want. But I go into a little bit more depth on the previous video. So this guitar was celebrity owned previously and he has all the documentation of the original owner, including his band photos. He owned it his entire life, obviously. And his daughter said, you know, dad, it's, it's time to move this thing. So. We have it, it's amazing. Come and check it out if you're local. I've played dozens and dozens of original Les Pauls from this era and this one stands out to me just extremely special. So again, Skylar's gonna do the demo on this, tasty player and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. We picked this Benson Monarch that's down here, it's pre-owned. If you haven't heard of Benson, you're living under a rock. They're back ordered till I think March. Chris is a, a personal friend of mine. He lived in the area at one point, he's in Portland now. He's got an amazing operation, incredible staff. Everything they do, I love, and this is no exception. The Monarch combo is the one that everyone freaked out about, and I would say made Benson famous. It's just an incredible amp. It's basic, but it's got some really awesome musical settings from British to American that really change the voice of the amp, and just classy on all regards. I've played this amp live, I've shared a bill with the previous owner, and it sounded awesome. It's a total studio workhorse. Anyways, fantastic amp, check it out. And yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna hand it over to Skylar.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, this is a 1960 Les Paul Standard, all 59 specs, killer guitar, pre-owned Vincent Monarch combo. Thank you for watching. See you.